Hi, Elliot Jacobson again. Nice to see you, Zoom friends. Um, I hadn't intended to read this one, but now that I've been reminded that it's National Poetry Month, I thought I would read the title poem, Totally Disconnected, which is about writing poetry, which are, these are meta poems, right? Poems about poetry. Totally Disconnected. It's a recipe poem. It tells you how to write a poem. Start with a simple declarative paragraph, minimum two lines, best if it's first or third person and highly specific. Journalistic styling is acceptable. Mary is a good female name. There are no good male names. Proceed quickly to a scene from nature, go light on adjectives and alliterations, no similes, no birds either. There are now two choices. Human society is losing touch with wild nature, or we live in an unavoidably wild world. Mary had a little lamb. Damn it. Start over, this time naming the main character Sheila. Bring in a contrasting natural setting, mountains, rivers, trees, winter. Avoid the color purple, the nouns wine and rainbow, and the adjectives. Next, wow them with a shocking segue to an existential emergency, birth, aging, death, sex, whatever. Choose Sheila's scared battle with stomach cancer. The words fog and mist come to mind. Give a call back to the beginning. However, hey, Sheila is a sure loser, believe me. Consider ways of using Sheila's cancer and death as a metaphor. Avoid cliches. Pause to marvel that death could ever be a cliche. Conclude with a magnificently profound platitude. Use Google to make sure it's original. Read some Basho and try again. As usual, title of the poem, Totally Disconnected. Publish. Await the inevitable raves and accolades. Oh, thank you, thank you. Recall the phrase, bloody, ignorant apes, that winter in the mountains sticks like fetid wine, rivers tumbling over Sheila's forgotten shadow, a foggy rainbow, a tree lost in the purple mist, a falling bird. Tell them all they're so very wrong. 